Number 11 says calculate the slopes of the lines below. So the first one's a graph. And on a graph, we know the slope is rise over run. So I'm going to pick two points on my graph, which Ms. James cannot see. I'm going to pick those two points because those are the points I can actually see. Now to get from this first point to this second point, we went down one, two, three. So down three. And then we went over one, two, three, four, five, six. So over six. And to simplify that, we know that three over six is... 1 half. So our slope for that one is negative 1 half. Now for b, it's easy. If they give it to us in y equals mx plus b form, we know that m stands for slope. So our slope is neg positive 2 over 5. Now here it's in point slope form. So to figure out our slope, I have to take this number and distribute. So y minus 3 is negative 1 third x minus 5 over 3. To get y by itself, I'm going to do plus 3 on both sides. So y is equal to, those canceled out, negative 1 over 3x plus 4 over 3. I said 3 and wrote 9. 4 over 3. So what is our slope? Negative 1 over 3. Okay, this one. Now, we're going to remember here that the equation for our slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the difference in our y values over the difference in our x values. So if you look at your y values, you can see that each time it's changing by 2.5. And our x values each time are changing by 3. So our slope is 2.5 over 3. Now for these two, I'm actually going to use another board because they're giving us our equation in y equals mx plus b form. Now if you were watching the earlier video, you already have the notes and you already know what that slope is. We solved that equation out. If you didn't, I will go back and take a look at another problem because we've actually solved that one out. But for the second one, it says 4x minus y is equal to 8. To figure out our slope for this one, we need to solve for y. So I'm going to draw my line. And to get this y term by itself, I have to get rid of this 4x. So I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides. These cancel. And I'm going to bring down my minus y is equal to, write my x term first. Now here, remember that even though I didn't write it, there's a number in front of y. There's a negative 1 right there. So. To get y by itself, sorry, to get y by itself it is so bright right there. I have to get rid of this negative 1. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. You get y is equal to 4x minus 8. So what's my slope? 4. So in our original problem, m is equal to 